We like to imagine humans and animals as distinct. But what if I told you that your cat could get Alzheimer's too? From dementia to diabetes, our pets are mirroring the same diseases we face. And in this video, we'll uncover how pets develop human-like brain diseases, why modern life is making them sick in the same way as we are, and how this extends to nearly every organ. Hi there, I'm Yvette, a neuroscientist, and on this channel I like to share how the brain works and what its mysteries reveal about our future. So, if you're interested in this, you know what to do. Meet Whiskers, a 16-year-old tabby cat. For most of his life he was quite affectionate and sharp, but one day he began crying out at night, wandering into corners and staring blankly, as if lost in his own home. He forgot where his food bowl was. He even stopped using the litter box, not because he was sick, but because he no longer remembered what it was for. When his owner brought him to the vet, the diagnosis was clear. Phenyl cognitive dysfunction, also known as cat dementia. And Whiskers is not alone in this. Studies show that about 28% of cats aged between 11 and 14 years show symptoms of dementia and that number jumps to over 50% in cats older than 15. What makes this so startling is what researchers have found inside their brains. In 1996, Dr. Carl Cummings and colleagues discovered beta amyloid plaques in aged cat brains. Well, it is the same protein that clumps together in human Alzheimer's. And by 2005, Dr. Elizabeth Hatt's team went further identifying tau tangles in cats, another classic Alzheimer's hallmark. And just this year, in 2025, published breakthrough research showing that amyloid beta builds up at synapses, triggering glial cells to engulf and destroy connections between neurons. It is actually the same exact destructive mechanism seen in human Alzheimer's. This means that cats don't just get something like dementia, they get the same disease with the same brain changes and the same heartbreaking decline. And here's why this matters. Unlike genetically engineered lab mice, cats develop dementia naturally, in the same homes, breathing the same air, and eating same diets as us, in some cases, of course. This makes them an incredibly powerful and surprisingly overlooked model for human Alzheimer's research. But here's the real question. Why are pets developing these very human diseases now and not 50 years ago? Think about how our pets live today. They share our couches, they eat food from bags and cans, and sometimes our food as well. They breathe our air, they spend hours indoors with little exercise, and most importantly, they live far longer than pets used to. 50 years ago, the average cat lived outdoors and rarely made it past 5 years. Today, indoor cats often reach 15 to 20 years, and with that longer lifespan, the diseases of aging, like dementia, cancer, and also diabetes, have a chance to appear. But longevity isn't the only factor. Lifestyle matters too. Today, 30 to 40% of cats are overweight, just like humans. And obese cats are two to four times more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. And then there are environmental exposures. A study in the American Journal of Epidemiology found that cats exposed to secondhand smoke had doubled the risk of developing lymphoma, which is a cancer of the blood. And dogs living in polluted Mexico City even showed Alzheimer's like brain changes, with inflammation and amyloid plaques linked directly to chronic air pollution. Scientists call this the One Health Principle, the idea that human, animal and environmental health are deeply interconnected. Pets are living side by side with us and in many ways they've become the sentinels of our own health risks. If they're getting sick from our environment, it is a warning sign for us too. But the brain is just the beginning. When we zoom out, we see the same story across the entire body. The sentinel effect doesn't stop with dementia. Our cats are now developing a range of other human-like diseases. 
For example, diabetes. Type 2 diabetes in cats mirrors the human condition almost exactly. So insulin resistance is caused by obesity or, and or poor diet. It requires the same treatments like glucose monitoring, insulin injections and diet changes. Then there is cancer. So cancer rates in cats are climbing. Lymphoma, memory tumors and skin cancers. The same type seen in humans. And again the connection to us is undeniable. In smoking households, cats face double the risk of lymphoma compared to cats in smoke-free homes. There's also chronic kidney disease, which is now one of the leading causes of that in older cats. And like humans, it's linked to environmental toxins, processed diets, and chronic dehydration. And finally, there are heart diseases. Senior cats are increasingly diagnosed with hypertension and heart failure, echoing the same cardiovascular risks we see in elderly humans. Vets are essentially practicing human medicine on cats now. So, here we are. Our pets aren't just our companions. They've become sentinels reflecting the consequences of our modern lifestyle. So the next time you look at your cat, remember, they're not just sharing your home, they're sharing your biology. And maybe, just maybe, they're also showing us how to build a healthier future together.